hey, Professor Ginger. Hey, are you ready to help make our video on ways to make seven? <laughs> All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. I have some cube sticks and each cube stick has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cubes. Now I'm going to hide these cube sticks throughout the yard and I need you and Axel to go find them. Do you think you could do it? <coughs> All right. Well, while I hide the cube sticks, I need you to go get Axel. Hurry up. Good job, Ginger. Hey, Axel, here's what I need you guys to do. I need you to find the cube sticks hidden throughout the yard. Now, most of my cube sticks have two colors. When you find a cube stick, you're going to bring it back to the number bond. Separate the two colors into the two parts and then use that to find a way to make seven. All right, what do you think? Are you guys ready? <coughs> All right, let's go. <coughs> All right, Ginger, you found a seven cube stick. Let's go put it in our number bond. Good job, Ginger. You found the seven cubes and you put them in the hole there. All right, scholars, let's take a closer look at those seven cubes to see if you can figure out a way to break them up into two parts. All right, scholars, here are the seven cubes that Ginger found. Now, what happens if we break them up into two parts? What is a way we can make seven with these cubes? All right, we'll break them apart. Let's see if you're right. Good job, scholars. When we broke that cube stick up, we found that we had one, two, three, four. Four brown cubes and one, two, three. Three yellow cubes. Four and three make seven. Great job, Ginger. Hey, go find another cube stick. Good job, Axel. You found a seven stick there in that bowl. Let's go put it in the number bond. Nice job, Axel, putting the seven cube stick in the hole. All right, scholars, let's take a closer look to figure out how we can separate it into two parts. Take a look, scholars. How can we separate this seven cube stick into two parts? Let's see if you're right. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five green cubes in the first part and two blue cubes in the other part. Five and two make seven. <coughs> All right, Ginger, you found another seven cube stick right above you, above the lemons there in the leaves. Let's go put it in the number bond. Good job, Ginger, finding another cube stick. All right, scholars, let's take a closer look at this cube stick to see how to separate it into two parts. All right, scholars, can you figure out how to separate this cube stick into two parts? Let's see if you're right. Good job. All right, scholars, when we separated the two cube colors, we got one, two, three, four, five, six six red cubes and one blue cube. Six and one make seven. All right, Ginger, go find another cube stick. Oh, good job, Axel. You found a seven stick there on the fence. Let's go put it on the number bond. All right, scholars, Axel put his cube stick in the hole with the seven there because there are seven cubes. Let's take a closer look. All right, this is a tricky one. Scholars, can you figure out how we can separate this cube stick into two parts? Let's see if your way matches mine. Check it out. I put all of the cubes into the other part. There are zero cubes in the first part and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven black cubes in the other part. Zero and seven make seven. 
Good job, Ginger. You found another seven cube stick. Hey, let's go put it in the number bond. Nice job, Ginger. You found another cube stick with seven cubes and you put it in the hole. All right, scholars, let's take a closer look so we can figure out how to separate them into two parts. All right, scholars, can you figure it out? How can we separate this seven cube stick into two parts? Let's see if you're right. Here we go. We have two blue cubes in the first part and one, two, three, four, five. Five red cubes in the next part. Two and five make seven. Way to go, Ginger. Good job, Axel. You found another seven cube stick right there at the base of the tree. Nice job. Hey, let's go put it on our number bond. Good job, Axel. You found the seven cube stick and put it in the hole with the seven there. All right, scholars, let's take a closer look to see how we can separate that stick into two parts. Okay, scholars, how can we separate this cube stick into two parts? Let's see if you're right. Way to go, guys. We have one white cube in the first part and one, two, three, four, five, six. Six brown cubes in the next part. One and six makes seven. All right, Ginger, good job. You found another seven cube stick. Come on, let's go put it in our number bond. Great job, Ginger. You found another seven cube stick and put it in the hole. All right, scholars, let's take a closer look to see if we can figure out how to separate it into two parts. Oh, this one's tricky, scholars. Can you figure it out? All right, see if your answer matches mine. Check it out. We couldn't separate any colors off of the cube stick because they were all yellow. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven yellow cubes in one part and zero cubes in the other part. Seven and zero make seven. Nice work, Axel. You found another seven cube stick. Come on, let's go put it on the number bond. Nice job, Axel. All right, scholars, let's take a look at that seven stick in the hole there. Let's figure out how we can break it apart into two parts. Okay, scholars, here it is closer up. How can we separate this seven stick into two parts? Let's see if you're right. Were you right, scholars? We have one, two, three. Three orange cubes in the first part. And one, two, three, four. Four white cubes in the next part. Three and four make seven. Hey, let's see if you guys can remember all of the ways we used to make seven. Here we go, scholars. Check out all of the ways we found to make seven. Now, when this video is over, I wanna see if you can remember a way to make seven. Tell someone in your class or at home. Good job. Thanks, Professor Ginger. Thanks, Axel, for helping us make our video on ways to make seven. You guys did a great job and found all of the number pairs for that number seven. Way to go.